Bluey. Bluey, what are you doing? What are you doing, Bluey? What do you got over there? What? Oh, you want to show me something? Oh, look at you. Did you get another? That's a... That's a big old gopher. That's a... Look at you. Is that your gopher? Yes, that is. Is, is that your gopher? Good girl. All right. Well, welcome to the ranch today. So, I guess today's just going to be just, I don't know, in the life of a rancher. So, we're going to, we got to go check some calves. You know, we weaned and everything. Hey, Billy. What's up, Billy? Billy's Luke's dog. Come visit. Ah, everybody's out peeing and pooping this morning. So... So we did get a little rain last night, which is good. Uh, not much, just a, little, just a little shower. So the weather's pretty nice right now. Actually, they're calling for later on in this week. So today's Wednesday, which is a good day. That means maybe we'll see some grandkids today, or at least one grandkid today. Um, yeah, so weather's super nice here today. 75 degrees maybe for a high. They're saying Sunday, which y'all might be getting the same weather, low Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, low in the 20s, like low 20s, like 22, 23. So we need to go check some calves. Remember we weaned the other day, so those calves are out. Um, we need to go ride through them, and they, they blew the fence out yesterday, so let's go make sure they're all, I mean, it's daylight now. That's pretty much kind of what we do on the ranch, you know, it's just kind of put everything up at night. You know, we just, we just hope, you know, put everything up at night and everything's good when we go to bed and then when we get up in the morning, just see what's broke. So, all right, let's, let's catch a horse. Everybody's all jacked up this morning. Not much longer and I got the flies are gonna be a done deal. Mick. After that cold spell, we won't have to worry about flies anymore, which, which is, you know, the fly deal's always, a, you hate to see them go, or you like, you love to see them go, but you hate to see, I don't know, I like summertime, I don't like wintertime, I'm not a fan of winter. Yesterday, yesterday I got my boat in, got it all winterized, which is always for me, sad because I like I like the boat deal. I like the water. I'm not a. I mean, I like to go snow skiing and stuff. It's just I don't like winter time. Winter time is, and the Texas Panhandle can be freaking miserable. I used to not mind it, but the older I get, for some reason, I get colder. He was a turd yesterday, or. I guess it wasn't, I guess it wasn't yesterday. It was day, it was day four yesterday. I kicked all the bulls out and man, he was just a turd. So I'm riding him again today, just being all jacked. Uh, oh, the horseshoe is coming today too. Getting new shoes put on today, which would be good. Bluey, get over here. So Bluey, we'll take Bluey with us this morning. She's, she's a wild thing, but she's, I mean, she's gonna be a freaking cow dog. Bluey, come here. So I was kind of worried about, about her being real vocal because she barks in the barn here at the horses, but on cows she doesn't bark, which is good. But I really hadn't started. Come here, Bluey, Bluey, come here. Come here, Bluey, sit down. So I really hadn't started working on her too much. She's about eight months old. She's a gopher killing dude, aren't you? But I've been taking her with me and uh, she's gonna make a cow dog. I mean, she's ate up with it. She's not vocal. She's just now starting to hit the heels, doesn't really know where to be yet. And I'm just kind of letting her, I don't know. I'm just kind of learning her personality so I know how to train her. 
Because I don't, if she's a head dog or a heel dog, I kind of want to know what comes natural to her. Isn't that right, Bluey? I, I don't know. I just don't know. Come here. You just, you just think you're an inside dog, don't you? Yeah, I know. All you want to do is come in the house. Yep. All right, let's, let's get going here. be a fun day. Where should I put this now? There we go. Still working, huh? All right, you gonna be fresh today? You gonna be all right? Yeah, I got you all right. Bluey. Freaking stand still. Drives me crazy with this horse. You know, he's he's kind of a big horse anyway. He's not huge. But he always steps into me. I want a horse to stand still. The sucker always just steps into me. It makes it harder to get on. So... A lot of times I get on him and just make him sit still for a dang minute. All right, let's go get some cattle checked. Trot around here a little bit. now Bluey come on come on Bluey Billy we don't need you buddy we need Champ and Ree who we need where's Champ Champ still Ree good morning good morning Ree So Carlos got the tractor running over there. We'll feed him in just a sec. I'm gonna kind of ease through him here while waiting on Carlos to come feed him. Just see if there's anything sick. A little dink there. Easy pearl. Yeah, Bluey went to the wrong side again. This is this is the fence they laid down. It's kind of a piece. So we need to replace this fence with um, continuous, you know, pipe fence. We put this up oh, several years ago, and it's been a, a waste. is a waste of money. 
Yeah, they laid the fence down right up here again. Or they laid it down last night, or night before last, and looked like they laid it down again. Yeah, that's no big deal to lay down. Make sure they're not going outside. Yep, so we get to fix this. That's not good. That fence, once it bends, it's kind of hard to get back up right again. All right, well, no big deal. We'll get her fixed. No big deal. Make sure the main thing is cattle are all healthy. Look at Bluey. You see Bluey up there running on the hill. She's all, Bluey, Bluey, come here. You stay with me. Bluey. <laughs> oh, here they come. Louie, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing there, Bluey? Stand off. Uh oh. <laughs> Bluey. So, what Carlos is doing now, he's putting the, the Sudan grass down, then we'll pay load, load the alfalfa on top of it. Well, we picked a good morning. No, no wind. <laughs> Look at all that freaking dust. So, the hay had gotten some rain on it. So it's got a little bit of dust, maybe a little bit of mold. It's getting all beat off of it now, though. Pretty cool, isn't it? That's a pretty bad machine. So used to, I had used to have a vertical mixer. And in the vertical mixer, we had this, was the commodity barn. I kept all my commodities over there, blue. And uh, we would mix it all in there. But this little gadget here, other than not being able to put water with it, it works pretty dang good. But that's my commodity barn. Of course, that's the overhead bins. That's where you keep the cake. And we'll be caking them in a little bit. What are we doing, Bluey? Bluey's just all over the place. Bluey needs his own Instagram or something. Look at her. She's a crazy little pup. Uh-oh. What's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? Oh, no. <laughs> ah, no barking. You can bite them, but you can't bark, okay? <laughs> Bluey. Bluey, Bluey, get in here. Bluey, come here. Bluey, come here. 
Bluey, come here. Come here, Bluey. Bluey, come here. Bluey, come here. There you go. She likes the fence. Bluey, get in here. Bluey, get in here. What do you think, Bluey? What a beautiful morning. All right, Bluey, let's walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. It's usually what I tell them when I want them to kind of step up, go easy. Not that she's listening to me very much, but it's just part of it. Bluey, I'm back here walking with her. Bluey, walk up. Bluey, walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Get a hope. Atta girl. I, I knew she was going to do it anyway, so I just went ahead and said it. So she thinks it's her ideal. Get a hope. Get a hope. Get a hope. Atta girl. Good girl. Louie, get a hope. Get a hope. Look back. Bluey. 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 Look back. Look back. Look back. Look back. Look back. There we go. She'll get it. Look at her. She's working. All right, so now, now Carlos is putting the alfalfa on top of the uh, Sudan grass. The cattle are lined up here, at least in that pen, all on the hay eating. And then we'll do this pen next. It's nice to be able to kind of walk down here. I like to sit out here while they while they eat, because if there's something kind of halfway sick, this is when you'll spot it. Bluey's worrying him out behind us. Bluey, come here. Come here, Bluey. Walk up. There you go, Bluey. Come on. Bluey, get around him. Get around him. There you go. Easy. Walk up. Out of the way. <whistles> over here, Bluey. Bluey, over here. There you go. That dog is busy. Pearl, Pearl, you decided to show up. You know, truthfully, 
I don't think cows are good for Other than cows are really good at losing money and eating. They're good for training horses and dogs. That's about it. And having fun. Especially on a beautiful day. Oh, man, look at them clouds. I got to show you these clouds. Uh, let's look at these. I was trying to show you these clouds. Little cloud bank there. Boy, it's... I don't know if it looks as good on TV as it does here, but, man, it's pretty. So if you hadn't figured out where we're at, we're at the pens where we wean. Because these cattle, we just weaned them the other day. All right, Moses and Duke, about time to hook these old boys up. So I've, I'm going to make these guys a team for this winter. So I guess we'll have to make a video of them, hook me putting these two together. They, they make a good match, though. Look how close they are. I think they look good. So I got them in here together, getting used to each other. And so that, that'll be one of the next projects is hooking them two together, hooking them to the wagon. All right, so Carlos is going to go get some hay. So we're going to go, I'm going to show you how the, the hay mixer works. And we got this pen here to feed. Bluey, go easy here. And um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty violent. But we'll, uh, we'll put three bells out in this pen here because we've got more cattle. And I'll show you how it works. I will get the gate for him in just a sec. Louie, look out. So, Jesus. All right. What's your tractor driving skills there, Carlos? <laughs> <laughs> So we always cut the net off of it because we don't want the net out in our pasture. But a little bit of net goes, goes by. And what happens is these hammers in here chop the hay up, spins, spins it. And then there's some more deals inside here. So these guys right here, there's one here and one on the other side. And what they do is Carlos runs, he runs it back and forth and that's what uh, keeps a bale fed. These guys down here just keep it from getting, you can change the the, uh, the length of the chop, either narrow or long. So that's how it works. All right, Carlos will flip it over in there now. Now that he's got, he's got the string loose or the net, the net loose, he'll flip it over. A little net always goes gets by us, you know, but we don't like, some people grind the net up in there, but we'll pull the net off. Cause we don't, cause otherwise you got the nets out in the pasture or out in the pen. So I had to wipe my camera off. It had a lot of dust on there. So this net, this bell here is like grassy alfalfa. So we'll put it on top of the Sudan grass. So we got two bells of Sudan in this pack, in this trap. We got two bells of Sudan. Then we'll put the alfalfa, grassy alfalfa on top of it, uh, just to mix it up. Now, if we were, like I say, if we were grinding hay, like we did in a commodity barn, we would do the same thing. We'd mix two hays, different amounts 
for the protein to get the protein up a little higher, the alfalfa. So the Sudan grass is gonna be like 10% protein. The alfalfa is gonna be 18% protein. And so then you put one bell alfalfa with two bells of 10% uh, Sudan grass. So yeah, so you know, you come out to about, you know, a 12, 11 or 12% protein hay. It's pretty good. We still cake them a little bit just to keep them coming into the cake because we're gonna be putting them out on grass here in the next couple of weeks. So we want them on the cake too and coming to a cake wagon. So Carlos is putting this out. So there we go. Yeah, so Carlos is putting this out and we'll, uh, we'll go look at it here in a second. Once the dust clears. And Bluey's still chasing cattle in case you're wondering about that. So one thing you like about it is the way it, you know, the way it just beats it into submission. Man, it knocks all, if there's any mold or dust in there or dirt, it knocks it all loose. I, I mean, I like that, but if we were doing this in the commodity barn, it'd be this, it'd do the same thing. Yeah. So now you got a good mixture here. You got alfalfa, grass. You got the, you got everything. Alfalfa, so you got the alfalfa and the grass and then you got the Sudan down below it. Or I guess Sudan's more over there. So, so let's lay down here. So you got that, that, all mixed together. Louie, Bluey, that'll do. Bluey, come here. Come here. Good girl. Come here, Bluey. You're such a good girl. Man, she's a... Once I get a handle on her, she's going to be good. Cattle are loving it. Yeah. So that's pretty good, isn't it? So yesterday or late yesterday morning, about five in the morning, we shipped uh, all the open cows to uh, the beaver stockyard. And so we had, oh, we had a little bit better than a 90% breed up, which is good. We had a couple crippled cows we had to send to town and we had uh, four crippled bulls. We got a couple of other older bulls that probably need to go, but I want to make sure Lewis has got enough for his fall cows before we ship them. So, that's part of it. So if the cow, if the cow doesn't um, breed up, then we send her to town. Oh. Gotta get this gate. Uh-oh, I think a horseshoe is already here. What are you doing here so early? Hey. Yeah. Uh, couldn't couldn't sleep last night, so I'd so I'd get here on the regular time, huh? Yeah. Figured I'd get here within regular business hours. Well, we've been out there. Yeah, you do. Freaking feet been growing good. Mm -hmm. Bluey's there to help you. I'm garbage man. Right? Oh, man. Bluey will, um, you don't even have to cut them off for her. She'll chip out them off. <laughs> Jump up there and get Yeah, them. <laughs> she killed another gopher this morning. She's been killing <laughs> gopher like every morning she shows up with a dead gopher. Well, uh, pretty freaking good, isn't it? Too bad. <laughs> Mm, looks good. Look out, Bluey. Bluey, get out of the way. I'm trying to do a little filming here. <laughs> we don't need your. Golly. Yeah, her tank, so. What makes a uh, hoof grow more in the summer than in the winter? Oh, I think they're using less, less of the 
stuff that grows hair and all that. It ain't really growing in the summer, so it going to the goes hoof. Foot, yeah. And they're just better, better stuff to eat in the summer, I think. Sunshine and a little more active. Well, they're saying this weekend it's going to turn winter. Yeah. Dang, you got a lot of soul to take off that one. You got a lot of Louie. Feel it. Louie, Louie, quit. Move. <laughs> Dang, you just keep laying in the way. <laughs> Getting in our shot. Yeah, when you get a bunch of foot like this, you got to remember it's not... Not what you take, it's what you leave on there. <laughs> there you go. A couple goes around. That's one of the most we've had to take off, I bet. Yeah, I don't know why it's so long. I don't know, that's like... I think we might be a week or so ahead, or... A wee week late? Yeah, I think so. You think it's been... But I am. <laughs> been nine weeks? I think it's been eight weeks. Eight weeks. Bluey. Bluey. Come on. A lot of horseshoers are in the dog kicking business. Too. Yeah. Bluey, go on. Uh, she needs to learn some manners. <laughs> flat spot that I made and kind of stay on it and just follow it around. And you can just kind of feel when it's flat too if your rasp is kind of... You can see it here. You can hear it too. It sounds smooth. Yeah. Nice. That's a tricky arc if you get one flat. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's got to be level too. Yeah. Yeah, flat and little ain't necessarily the same, same thing. Same thing, yeah. Balance. Balance is, can be argued for ever and ever. I don't know if there's even two horseshoes that agree on what no, balance No, I don't know if there is either. Well, I don't know that there's a set number. I mean, it's really just horse by horse. You just got to yeah, balance I mean, your horse, each, right? Each foot is an individual. And I kind of go off, like, how everything's coming out of the middle of the foot, like, proportion-wise. Like, everything should kind of, you know, it's going to have the shape of that coffin bone, but it should all kind of be centered up pretty good, you know? Right. Yep. the horse yeah. <laughs> I bet he's in there eating 
That sucker can that sucker can untie a freaking knot now. Yeah. Hey, there ain't even smoke. I know there. I think you've trained him. Mick untied, he untied the, and just went, went to go eat breakfast. Oh, where is he down there? He's down there in his stall, see him oh. down there? He's sticking, he's like sticking his head out, see? He's like, I'm eating. You want to see the turkeys? They're over there. Turkeys? Oh, yeah. You see the turkeys walking? Like that first burn, I'm just kind of getting a rough, like a rough draft right. of what that foot's like. I kind of just, I'm like guessing what it's going to be like. And then I come back on the second burn and just kind of get it, should be dialed in, you know, on the second burn. Sometimes you get it on the first burn if you're lucky, if you pay enough attention. Well, it looks good. <laughs> uh. Nice foot though. You got some good feet. Yeah. that I just need to open up or uh, pitch that clip a little more I usually leave my hammer right here with me trying to match like perfectly the angle of that hoof wall gotcha. and burn it in like just right where you can't feel it with your finger when you run it across there or, or nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course, just one smooth, smooth surface. Yeah, it's all one. Yeah. side open and be good all right well we're gonna shut her down for uh, yep. this week um i've got what else i got so it's wednesday i think we're gonna kill our chickens on friday so we got a bunch of chickens to kill get them in the freezer before it gets cold before it gets cold this weekend and then we got sarah long coming to, to uh, float teeth on sunday uh, i'll for sure get you a video on that I don't know who cares about killing chickens. That's a very simple deal. But, anyways, we're uh, we're on it. We'll see you next week. Thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. Give me a thumbs up.